Hello everybody, Andrea Tarowski here with Dental Oil Tutoring. So a lot of people have been asking me lately, even patients, what's the difference between a dental assistant and a dental hygienist? So let me tell you. So even if you're just a high school student, you're looking into a dental program and you want to know the difference between assisting and hygiene, let me tell you. So I will talk about assisting a little bit more, but for um, dental hygiene, think that's the person that cleans your teeth. The dental assistant does not. That's how I explain it to my patients. If they're like, so are you an assistant? Are you a hygienist? Are you the dentist? Like, who are you? So the dental hygienist cleans the teeth. But the dental assistant, now it depends on what office you work in. Where if you'll be on um, the phones, if you're helping out with patients, if you're chair side, or some offices will, will um, only have a uh, chair side, meaning you are only seeing the patients in the back and helping out the dentist, you are never on the phone. So it does depend. When I was a dental um, assistant, I was a dental um, receptionist on Mondays, but then I was the assistant to a dentist Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So what I did was I would clean up the rooms, I would set up the room. So I would need to know what patient we are seeing next to know what to set up for. So if we're seeing them for a tooth, um, tooth extraction, for um, a composite filling, for an amalgam filling, for impressions, for a new patient exam, all of those things means that I would set up for something differently. So I would need to know what we're doing. I would need to know, am I taking x-rays? Are they due for x-ray? So then I would set up accordingly. Because anytime you are supposed to take x-rays, you need to do that before um, the dentist comes in. So then that way when they come in, they can see the x-rays. Um, so, so I would be in charge of cleaning up the room, setting up the room. So cleaning up the room means disinfecting and sterilizing everything. So everything that needs to be sterilized, everything that needs to be disinfected has to be done accordingly. And I do um, talk about the differences between um, disinfecting and sterilizing in another video. So have a look at that if you're not too sure. Um, but it also means writing up in the charts. So I would be in charge of all of the charts. So making sure that I would bring the, um, the charts to the dentist in the morning so then that way he or she could have a look. If the dentist needs to sign something, I would need to know if they had to sign something. Um, if we need to send off impressions to the lab, I would be in charge of, um, of pouring up the impressions and calling the lab to have them picked up. So the dental assistant literally does everything, I'm telling you. We have to know a little bit about everything. And if you're thinking about being a hygienist, I would highly suggest um, I would highly suggest being a dental assistant first so you kind of know the ins and outs because even as a hygienist, there are a lot of things that they don't teach you like how to, um, actually they do teach you how to pour up impressions, but they don't teach you sort of the little things behind it. So um, it does help to be an assistant for sure. Um, what else does the assistant do? Pretty much everything having to do with the dentist. If the dentist is behind, you have to keep the dentist on time as best as possible. If a patient doesn't show up, you have to call the patient to see where they are. Sometimes you are in charge of um, calling the patient to make sure that they will show up for their appointments. In some offices, you may even be in charge of um, booking appointments. And at the end of their appointment, putting the codes in the computer for the receptionist. So it depends on what office you work in. In the office where I worked in as an assistant, I was in charge of putting the codes in the computer for the receptionist. And then I brought the patient up to the front for um, the receptionist to kind of take over. So to take payment, to have them sign insurance forms, all of that fun stuff. Um, what else was I in charge of? I was in charge of calling patients who were due for their cleanings to book them in to keep the schedule full. Um, I was in charge, I think I mentioned sterilizing. So in some offices, you would take your tray into the um, uh, sterilization area and there's somebody else there to do it for you, but I was in charge of doing my own instruments. So I would put them through the ultrasonic, through the statum, I would make sure that they're set up for the next person, 
all kinds of things. So we are literally in charge of a lot and we do have to know a little bit about everything, but it's, it is amazing. So if you're not sure if that's something you want to do, look into it. It is amazing and you will love it. I loved being a dental assistant. Um, it's just at the end, I wanted to be a dental um, hygienist because you're more on your own and you don't have to be with the dentist 24 seven. You are more your own provider. So you are working on your own and you ask the dentist for checks and that's it. So that's just something that I wanted to do. But I hope this helps to give you guys some insight of the dental assistant career. It is awesome. And thank you so much for watching.